So we're about to go on a walk over here and before we do that, we put on some of this Blue Lizard Australian sunscreen. Is it really from Australia? Okay, it really is. From Australia. Oh wow, okay, so it's from Australia. There's a sun, physical sun barrier, so it's not chemical sunblock. So yeah, the bottle turns blue uh, when UV light hits it. So you know that right now we're in UV light. All right, let's go. There's this um, little cafe over here. Annie and I are debating whether or not we should uh, get some chocolate mousse from there. I guess it is Friday, so it is part of our cheat day. I can't believe the week has gone by so quickly. So I wanted to share a little update with everybody since the last time we went on a walk. Um, so over the last uh, you know week or two, we've been spinning down a project I've been working on for a couple of years. Um, so it's kind of sad to see it uh, go, but I learned a lot and I'm very thankful for everything that I learned. Uh, really thankful for everybody's support in that. Um, I'm in a good place. And we did what we could with the project. And yeah, now it's time to focus on um, just kind of handing over the keys, make sure everything's shut down properly and to work on the next thing and to focus a little bit more on now. So um, the, goal, the goal right now is actually no goals, just going to focus a little bit on building me to continue the health journey and I'll spend time with Annie, um, go on these hikes and get some fresh air while the weather's really nice. Last time Annie and I were out here, um, there were the cicadas, I guess in the summer, and that was so loud. Literally deafening, and you would just hear the sound of the cicadas coming from, you know, in every direction, but it would be like a wave of sound. They're watching us, and I'm watching them. All right, so a little update on the relaxing part and the sound. There's actually some parts of this place that are nice, but there's like a highway over here, so you can kind of hear it. You hear a lot of construction. Uh, we're around a, a rich neighborhood where people are doing a lot of construction, updates to their houses, and uh, you can definitely hear that. Yes, the selfie. Oh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I got it. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. I think right now the most exciting thing is just playing around with this camera and trying to make things look almost like cinematic. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do with my spare time uh, right now and go on these walks with you. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> okay. This is one of my favorite parts of this particular walk over here. Uh, it transitions from this kind of um, you know, shaded wooded area into this grassland uh, with rolling hills out of the shade and now into the light and you can kind of see that's fantastic I like the shadow <laughs> I don't know What animal is that? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get stung by the bee. What is it? I don't know. What, is, what do you think? That it's alien life. We've discovered alien life. Whoa, wait. There's the red stuff? Oh. Oh, snap. What is that? I don't know what that was. Kind of gross and cool looking. Wow. You see the wild turkey? The colors are pretty. Whoa, that's a big spider. It is. It's got all the babies in the back. Last time Annie and I came here, we didn't have a chance to see the sculpture. It's absolutely amazing to see up close. It has a, obviously a framework, some sort of underlying structure, but uh, on top of it, they have these flowers okay. um, and it's just very colorful. So it's kind of like a living wall, living sculpture and probably changes with the seasons. So very creative, very beautiful and modern. Um, yeah, this is very inspiring. I love this. It's a beautiful day. It's a Friday afternoon. And I think the little tip um, is just make sure to uh, book your tickets or book your reservation, schedule it online. Uh, it does fill up very, very quickly. And if anything, I think it's booked all the time. So, uh, I want to give a shout out to one of my buddies, Brendan. He's the one who actually uh, introduced me to this place. I found it on his Instagram feed. You guys can follow him. Oh yeah, if you come out here, make sure to bring some water. We didn't bring any water last time, so got a little thirsty. 
Split Rocker mm -hmm. from 2000. Stainless steel, soil, geotextile fabric, internal irrigation system, and live flowering plants. But from, I guess, the person who designed it was Jeff Coons. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're here. You want to go back here, we're so we have to go there. this way. Okay, so we, how do we, which one's so that one? I think it's this one. So we're heading over to the pavilion. It's gonna be the last stop. Uh, but there is this uh, center area with a very beautiful pond. So we're gonna check that out. And that will be the grand finale. This is, um, this is the highlight. This is what we've been waiting for. Wanted to see this again. And they have this pond handmade as part of this beautiful architecture surrounded by a museum. But this is the heart. And there's this deck, which enables you to walk kind of into the water. All of this is all man-made, so they've created this grid with these, uh, it looks like compartmentalized. They kind of arrange the plants and they've done it so that it creates this beautiful um, structure. So it still looks organic, but it's very deliberate the way they've done it. And it's amazing. It's gorgeous. And the flowers and the sound. Oh, hot. They're warm. They're warm. My arm's getting tired. Is that nice? a heart? Can we do a heart here? Oh, it's a heart. <laughs> it's a heart. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh yeah, that does work way better. <laughs> hey dad, if you're watching this, this is pretty awesome. This is an amazing, this is a pretty amazing uh, pond. Thank you for joining me and Annie on this little walk around Glenstone. I really enjoyed sharing this moment with you guys. And yeah, we'll end it right here. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all very soon. All right.